Andrew Science Center and Planetarium. That's where we find News for Tucson's Chief Meteorologist Matt Broad with more. What an exciting day, Matt. Allison, it was so cool. It was so cool to be a part of it as a scientist to see this. I'm actually old enough to remember the uh, total solar eclipse of 1979, although I was about yay high. Uh, the west side of the University of Arizona Mall was literally just covered with uh, professional grade telescopes earlier this morning. And when that uh, hit almost 60%, despite the fact it was a partial eclipse here in Tucson, people just started to scream. And I tell you, I felt a little cooler to me. Didn't notice it getting too dark out here. Of course, we were not in the path of totality. But uh, joining me live now is Bill Plant. He's the director of exhibits at Flandrow. Thanks for being with us. Oh, glad to be here. And what a success it was today, huh? It was fantastic. A huge turnout, and we had great support from our neighbors at Lunar and Planetary Lab and across the street at the Astronomy and Stewart Observatory and across the street at the Optical Sciences all out here sharing the excitement of the science of the eclipse. How long have you guys been planning for this event? For months, yeah. And uh, we knew it was going to be something special, something that doesn't happen every day. And we had a, a, a great plan in place. We had lots of people coming and buying the solar glasses, which were hard to find. And um, so we, we appreciate everyone's patience coming and standing in long yeah. lines to buy their solar glasses. I thought one of the coolest things, Bill, was that a lot of the students uh, that should have been in school say their parents actually took them out. And I think, you know what, why not for this experience? Because it's going to be seven years till we see another one. Exactly. I mean, what better place than here at this nexus of science on, at the campus on campus of the U of A. To Great stuff, it. Bill. Well, thanks again. We'll talk to you a little bit later. Thank you. All right, Allison, so that's what's happening here at the University of Arizona again at 1036 this morning. It uh, peaked here at about 60%. Uh, we'll have much more, including your forecast. Very dry out here today. We'll see you back here in just a few minutes.